Okay, next we're going to do the eyes. And the first thing we want to do is we want to make them bigger, much bigger. So if we hover over the eyes here and select, over here in our parameters, we want to look for the eye scale. And what we want to do is scale the eyes up to 100% to the maximum, and then go down and click Bake. And then we want to scale up more and then click bake and then we want to start playing with the angle of the of the eye let's go down here underneath headshot under eye we have all of these different general the openings the eyeball it's itself and what i'm looking for is i want to make the eyes wider like her eyes are up here so we want to make them open up a little little wide so under eye opening let's take that up to a hundred percent and that's about where we want to be we don't want to go too much or or we start to get into some problems with the with the mesh so let's go ahead and leave that there now what we want to do is we want to find the angle and we want to move the eyes see where her eyes over here kind of angled up so let's find the type and we can see here that we have eye almond asian eye eye angled in if we use the setting eye angle in i like this one so let's go ahead and pull this to 100% and that just moves the interior of the eye a little bit. Then let's go back up to the general of the eye and up in the search bar let's just type in angle and this will give us the eye angle overall for both eyes. Notice also that you can do each one separately for the left eye and the right eye but for now we'll just do them together. So let's crank this up to 100%, bake, 100% again, bake, 100% again, bake, 100% again. And all I'm doing is I'm just gradually moving these eyes to be angled up higher to give it more character and to look closer like, like this character over here. Again, this is totally subjective and it's totally up to you and what you're going for with your character. Go ahead and uncheck the search. The next thing we want to do is we want to adjust our eye height. So we can go up with our eye or we can go down with our eyes. I'm going to go down with the eye height. Bake it and go down one more time and bake it see how she's starting to look more more cartoony and then the eye width is the other one that's really really useful so if you want the eyes to come in closer or further now you got to be careful when you go further apart because you'll see that the eyeball starts to poke through the mesh now, if you wanted the eyes to be really far apart like that, there is a way where you can fix the mesh, and we're going to cover that in a, in a later video. But for now, let's just keep it to where we don't have that issue. And I'm going to go ahead and bring her eyes just a, a little bit in. And I'm thinking that looks, that looks pretty good. See how she's starting to look like a, much more of a cartoon. We still have to shape her head and we're going to do that next. But this is where all of the controls are for the the eyes and where you can just totally create the exact look that you want by just going through here. The eyelids, upper eyelid, see we can puff that up like that. Extremely powerful, extremely creative controls 
for the eyes and the eyelids, the folds, the tear ducts, the eyeball itself. You can enlarge, you can make the eyeball even, even bigger like this. And again, you got to be careful that it doesn't poke through. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that back to where it was. And that's looking pretty good. So let's say I like that. I like the way that's looking. And we need to do, at this time, we need to do a test on the eyes. Anytime we're manipulating and changing the size and the scale of the eyes, it's necessary to go and do an eye check, close the eyes and see how it's looking. So the best way to do that, there's a modify and we can open and close the eyes here. And the other place is over here in the parameters icon where it says display. We have an eye control and then a mouth control. So the mouth control will open up the mouth so we can take a good look at the teeth when we start going in and changing the teeth. And the eye control will shut the eyes. Now, when I do the eye control, bummer, look what happens. Because we scaled the eyes so much, it's not going to blink. So this used to be a real problem when you were creating characters. We'd have to go back and forth into ZBrush and hand manipulate all the all the points and the vertices. And it was a real pain. It was really hard to do and really hard to keep it looking good. But thanks to Reillusion and Character Creator 3, they have a tool built right in here that makes this a fantastic breeze to do. So let's do that right now. We want to go, let's open up the eyes again and let's go up here to the modify and let's use the close eyes here. They're going to go back up to modify again. And if we go down here, we see this really cool tool called correct eye blink. And all we have to do is select that and bam, the eyes blink all the way down. And now you say, what are those black marks? It looks like something's poking through the mesh. And you would be right. We've got the eyeball poking through the mesh. Now, there's a couple things that we could do to fix that. And now is a good time to go into this because this is where you're going to run into it and you're going to want to fix it here. So what we want to do is we want to be able to actually alter the mesh itself. So to do that, we have to be in the parameter tab here, right where we're at, and we go down to edit mesh. Now, another thing I want to mention is to make sure that in your scene tab, you're clicked on to the character and not the bra or the underwear or anything else or the hair if you have to have hair or you won't be selecting the right one. So make sure that the character is selected. And then we go over to edit mesh and it's going to bring up our mesh with all the vertices and all the points. And what we want to do is go over here to the sculpt tab. It's going to open up the sculpt. And let's choose the mirror X because these are both in about the same spot. And we want to go down to the radius of our tool and let's make it smaller because that was way too big. Let's bring the size of our tool down to about that. The intensity, it's set here. I like to bring this down a little bit. And we have the brush type set to the icon. It's a little hard to see, but what it's doing is it's pulling up. So it's the pull icon. This one here is the push. So it's going to push the mesh, mesh in. This one's going to pull it out. This one is the smooth. We'll be using that later. But this is the one we want. So what we do is we go over here and with our left mouse button, when we're hovering over this area of the mesh, just click one time. One time is usually good enough. Sometimes you might want to do it twice. Now, once we do that, you see it disappears and we don't have the poke through anymore. So we go over here to our edit mesh, click on that again, and that will get rid of the wireframe. And now let's open up the eyes. Looks really good. I can't tell you, those of you who have designed characters before and you've gone the ZBrush route or taken your character 
exported and back into 3D Max or, or Maya or something like that or Blender. It's a real pain in the butt to have to go through that whole workflow where now you can just fix the, the eye blink right here. Now, while I have this in such a close up, I want to mention here also is the smooth mesh tick box. If you check that, it's going to re render the character and your mesh will be smoother. Now, depending on how powerful and fast your computer is, uh, you may or may not want to use this. Okay, so that smoothed my mesh. I like to use that, and I should have turned that on in the very beginning, but this is, this is what it looks like with the, the mesh smoothing turned on. So we test out the eyes. The eyes look beautiful. Let's go ahead and rotate around. Looks great. Open up the mouth. Close the mouth. Now another good thing to do, especially while we're on the eyes, since this is such an important part of your character, the eyes, I like to go into the facial posing and double check as well. So we go up to the posing tab here. Oops, excuse me, the guy that looks like he's running. And then we go down to Edit Facial, and this is going to open up the Expressions tab for us right here. And this is a quick way to just test out and see how the, the face is doing with different expressions. So go ahead and all you have to do is click one time and just go through these different expressions and just look for areas that the mesh is poking through or breaking something like that. Just want to go through the different expressions. And if we do the drop down menu here, we can do angry. And we can see how our character looks in the different angry facial expressions. So that's what's really nice about the Character Creator 3 is as we're sculpting and we're changing and creating our character, even with some pretty massive changes like this, we don't lose the facial rigging. It all stays intact, which is beautiful and a real time saver. Now to get back to our default face, we just go back to reset right here. Now the thing here I want to show you is over in the muscle. This is where we can test out different expressions and actually save them. We'll get into that later too, save custom expressions. But by selecting the different areas here and then clicking with your left mouse in the area. Now the head is moving up and down because I have these selected, so I'll turn those off. I just want the mouth to move. And we can also take a look at how our character is doing and then hit the default key to go back to back to one, back to original. Another thing, let's check the eyeballs. If you select the eyeballs and then the up and up, up above the eyes and below the eyes, and then we can rotate the eyeballs around. And this will be a good test too to see if, if anything is breaking through the mesh. And over here, if we click the eraser, it just takes everything off. If we just want to turn the eyes around, move them around. Now we can see here that we're breaking through the eyelid here. So that could be a problem if we're going to be if we're going to be making our character look down like this. The easy fix for that would be to go into the eyeball setting and just pull this right eye, character's right eye back a bit or go in like we did with the fixing the eyelid and pull this eyelid forward just a little bit the same tool, how we edited the mesh. Okay, so looking, looking pretty good. Let's go back to the expressions. Down here are the other ones. This gets some good blinks in there so you can check. So it's, it's good procedure to frequently check as you're as you're making changes to your character and make sure that you're not losing any 
any of the facial movements or you don't have any problems for animation later on. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. You've come a long way. You've learned a lot. We've got the eyes done. What we're going to do next is we're going to work on the shape of the head, change the shape of the head, and then we're going to go in there and like fine tune and smooth out some things using the mesh tool like we did before. And that's it for this video.